What's going on everybody, it's Tom and it's Jamie. Welcome to the Chronicles of Podcast. The Chronicles of Bloodstock 2024. I am Dan from Safamil and this is... I'm Paddy. It's an absolute pleasure to have you both here. Thank you so much for joining us this fucking stunning day. Oh, I. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I feel, because I've got like a ginger beard, I can literally feel my ginger cells killing me from the inside. Mate, I feel you. Yeah. I feel you the whole way, do you know what I mean? Yeah. So, it's just, I found out that I'm allergic to the sun. <laughs> yeah. Is it, is it hay fever trying to kill you as well? Yeah. 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 That's why I was poisoned in early life. Anyway, never mind. That's all <laughs> we're here for. Um, how was your Sunday? How's your personal Sunday treating you? Uh, it's really well. It's, it's going really well so far. Like, you know, we've just been knocking around here, talk, talking to people, getting to know people, networking and all that. Uh, looking forward to our set later on. Yeah. Um, how about you? I just smashed a Spudman for my lunch, so it's going pretty well. So oh, we've heard there's good things about that. It's all right, guys. It's pretty nice. Yeah, pulled pork and cheese. Uh, and then I reckon we'll uh, we'll hit a few more of these up, say hello to everyone, be social, and then uh, head back for a little pre-gig rehearsal or thing, acoustic-like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get <laughs> a little warm-up. I was just in the middle of the field somewhere, and I was like, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, that's exactly what we are doing this morning, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. You, I, bet, I bet you're buzzing for later. Oh, yeah, we are very excited, yeah. It's... Uh, it's just one of those things that is like literally dream come true kind of a thing. Yeah. You know, it's like when you start a band in UK, like a death metal, black metal band, whatever, like playing, go- playing Bloodstock is like the golden ticket, it seems like. It's an absolute pleasure, yeah. Yeah, it's absolutely wonderful. I mean, for a Sathamel show compared to a Sathamel festival show, do you change sets up accordingly? So if people aren't so familiar with yourselves, you might just drop all the bangers in, or do you have a cassette that you have? regardless so that's pretty much what happened so uh we, we normally play a bit longer sets like 40 45 minutes on, on, on average this is only going to be half an hour so we have to really select what we're going to play for this festival so we think we've chosen the best songs that we have and i would probably work with the festival audience the best uh but we'll see how that goes yeah incredible so us as a podcast we're ambassadors for the sophie lancaster foundation mm-hmm. are you aware of sophie and the story Oh, absolutely, yes, yeah, yes. So what we're doing, we're talking to artists this weekend to basically find out about some of the stereotypes you may have had put up on you because you're part of this community. Not just when you were young, but even now today. General walking around with long hair, tattoos. Hey, do you ever have, like, people feel, oh, I bet he loves a fight, I bet he worships the devil. You know, those side eyes, those sort of, is this something you've had to experience? Yeah, I have to say, uh, back in the day, definitely. Like, I mean, nowadays I don't really wear band T-shirts as often or anything, so you don't really have that very metal image, and obviously the imagery that goes on T-shirts and that. Um, but yeah, back in the day, definitely. Yeah, you know, I've heard like, oh, you look like Jesus thing as well, oh my God. all the fucking time. So <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'd rather have Jesus. I got bloody Michael Jackson from high school. <laughs> like, like, yeah. What? Yeah. What? Yeah, did not know this. Yeah. yeah. I think, I think probably every lad here that has long hair could probably say, oh yeah, in high school, I got a bit of a, a ribbon for it. Like, coming out the other end of it, I think it does set you up to be a little bit stronger, a little bit, you know, better with the crack when you get older with your mates and stuff. But uh, I have to say these days, you know, when you get older, I think it is all changing a bit, you know, with the likes of these bands that are so commercially successful now. You know, you're kind of more of an odd one out if you don't have any tattoos these days. So, yeah, it's nice to see that it's getting a bit more uh, accepted, sort of wide, wide spectrum. Yeah, I think, like, the general alternative look is a bit more popular nowadays. You have people, you know, that don't listen to anything alternative, wearing black jeans and leather jackets and whatnot, you know. The, the sort of goffy look is, uh, you know, like, the black eye- eyeliners and stuff. It's, it's kind of in the fashion now, so I think there's a little bit less of that. And I think people in general, like, you know, a few years, like 10, 15 years ago, it was very much still a case where if you listen to death metal, you only listen to death metal and that's it. Where nowadays, I think people listen to more uh, yeah, yeah, genres yeah. in general. So, you know, you listen to, I don't know, electric music as well or hip hop, you know, with, with emergence of bands like Sleep Token or Bad Omens and, you know, all them bands doing really, really well. That kind of tells you a lot about the trends, I think. Absolutely. It's, it's funny, you see people like you mentioned, like the alternative look being fashion. It's like, part of you is like, that's amazing. Like, we're part of the, we're part of the like, main culture now. And another part of me like, I got the shit kicked out of me for this when I was younger. You absolute bastard. Exactly. <laughs> Get out of Primark. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. As an elder goth, it is very much a thing, yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's, you, you sort of answered my next question in the last one there, but I was going to ask, like, do you think... For the younger generation specifically, it is easier to be part of this now. I, do you know what? I think the younger generation has so many different varied 
things are they exposed to via TikTok and YouTube and like all the social media. I think just being a part of like this one thing only is gonna be very sort of rare, I think. Well, like the young people, children now will grow up to be like, you know, teenagers or adults, whatever. I think they'll just be a bit more casual about things. I don't think it's gonna be much of a, of a thing. I think you're right. Like we've, we spoke to a few bands that have said like, back in the day, metal was your personality. Exactly. Now, people listen to so many different bands. Like my daughter loves Chapel Row and I've never even fucking heard of in my life till the other day. A Billie Eilish, and then she'll also sit there and listen to Kiss. And like once we take her to these gigs, I'm like, you never would have found that when I was younger. Uh, we <laughs> exactly. On the school bus, trigger the bloodshed, open oh, fever, <laughs> like, yes. you know, you listen to something like a bit like, like, oh no, get that away from me. Like, I don't like it, yeah. Whereas now it seems like, I don't know, I'd say it probably is for the better, like in general for the whole community. You know, the more people listening, the more it's accepted, the better opportunities we'll get, the more money in it for everybody. Yeah! yeah. So, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not for us. No. <laughs> we only work for exposure. That's that's all we want. <laughs> Bringing it back to yourselves, though, what is the future looking like for the band? Have you got anything coming out to talk about? We do, yes. So we have an EP coming out uh, in November uh, called Opposition to Life. Uh, all the free tracks that we released in like last year or so, uh, Take the Rot, Ad Nauseam, Perennial Flock, will be on that EP, and there'll be uh, extra tracks on that as well. So we're looking forward to that. There's going to be a new music video coming out for the, for one of the songs as well, which we just finished filming like last week. It's going to be brilliant, I think. Um, shout out to uh, Stephen, who did it for us. No, Joey. And, uh, <laughs> Sorry. Um, Thanks, whatever your name is. We know Stephen who does that stuff as well, but yeah, it's, it's not that one. It's Joey. Yeah, and Sam at Ritual as well. Yeah, Sam at Ritual Sound, uh, we've worked with on that, on that release again, who's also worked with us on all our previous records as well. So... Yeah, it's very much a half a mil esque future for us. Incredible. Guys, thank you so much for taking the time out to chat with us today. It means thank the world. Thank, really thank, thank you so much. Thank you so much, man. Cheers, yeah, 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 yeah. Come check us out. Will do. Will do.